Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there. Today's video, I would like to talk about how you can make a clutch with Canadian smoking design. I used this milk chocolate empty box as a base for the inside now this one you see the inside this milk chocolate box and you can put a lining if you want but i didn't put one because you can just put a little bit extra of this fabric have a long one and that will do the same job and also i put one snap button here you could put two more and here is the canadian smoking design embroidery design and then i use the tiny little sequence 5 mm and i use this glitter dimensional fabric paint by tulip to glue the sequence uh, this is done in a satin fabric so you should go and see my Canadian smoking embroidery stitch uh, video and then watch this one. So this one is the one I'm going to show you and this I already posted this video and this one I added some tiny little pearls. These are 5mm pearls. So some white pearls you can get it in any cap store and I use this glitter dimensional fabric pen just to glue them and after I did the design then I so you can do either this side or the other side either way depending on your fabric so this fabric you could tell the difference this is the pretty side and this is the dull side now here where I did the embroidery design the canadian smoking where i can add one sequence or a pearl right in the middle and then use this side to make the purse so this fabric was 44 inch length and about 18 inch width so this was a pretty long fabric now i did the design because you have to take about three times more the fabric because it, as you see with the design the fabric is bunched up and i want to have enough left to tuck it in inside to give it a lining and then right now all i have to do is stitch these two sides so i'm going to stitch a little bit of this side so you and then i'll finish up the rest and then i have to insert the box so I'll go from here to the top and just give either your machine stitch or just basic running stitch nothing fancy because this is going to be inside so like this continue with the machine or hand stitch both the side So well, almost done this side and then you can do exactly the same thing on the other side and then I will show you how to use this hot chocolate, empty hot chocolate box, milk chocolate box to make the clutch or the purse. So this this stitch you could do machine or hand if you do hand stitch make sure you go over two or three times so I will finish the other side and meet you so after you stitch both the sides just plain running stitch with the exact same color thread that looks better with the similar thread then you turn it inside out 
like this so the pretty side will be the outside now you nicely put this empty chocolate box hot chocolate box inside the fabric and make sure it snugly fits and put it such a way that your designs looks good okay so just work with it uh, side front back and as I push this fabric in see as I push this fabric in I got enough fabric inside to make the lining so that's what I was talking about with this one if you have a little bit extra fabric it will give the lining so this one I took long enough fabric about 44 inches so you see how beautifully it gave the lining now only thing I have to do is make sure all the design coming out right it outside and inside blended in together and now uh, you can either put hot glue surrounding it but as you know I prefer stitching so I will stitch all around it step one step two I will put two snap button that's the step two and the step three is I made a little strap and the strap is done by taking little bit more wider fabric than this and folding the fabric few times like this and make sure the edges either you burn it or if you don't then the edges should stay inside so this was quite a long enough fabric and wide enough fabric so i give like four or five folds and then i added the pearl with the guitar dimensional fabric pen after I stitched the side, I let it sit like this and I added the pearl and let it dry. And now, only thing I have to do, once I stitch the top, put two buttons, all I need to do is go in the side like this and stitch this from both the sides. And you have yourself a beautiful clutch. So let me stitch this side and show you for the side make sure you put the pleats such a way that they look neater very neat so you put pleats like this like this like this so they will look neat same thing goes for this side you put it like a nice shirt and then you pleat like this and make sure this design is in the center tuck it in nicely I can find okay here it is so for stitching you just go from here or anywhere just start from the end and give very tiny stitches like this make sure you have a sturdy needle you can give big stitches inside but make sure your outside stitches are tiny now if you have a long thread that could get tangled 
so like this you continue the entire side so you see nothing visible from our side tiny tiny stitches if now you can make like this with all different colors with all different dresses and i have this one pearl you can add sequins any beads other kind of beads or rhinestone and i didn't uh, measure or anything it's just randomly i glued them so it's like that uh, you randomly also you stitch depending on how much gap you want to give just make sure that you stitch such a way that your fabric stays like this yeah either you can add one or two depending on how many you think you need i probably would do two i think two is enough one over here or you can glue hot glue this one over here so this one part goes here other part goes here same here so it'll hold on like this and this side i have this fabric decorated just like the other side i have done you would put it this side like this fold it and sew it in here like this and then you have yourself a beautiful clutch this one is the done same way except this one at the side i did not add see the joint over here i put it inside so i did not add the side here joint i just fold it like this you could do like that put it such a way that it will go inside and then you cannot really see the joint and it's a beautiful clutch slash purse uh, this one i did a little different variation with that i added the pearls bead with the fabric so it's a different design so if you see like this you put it like this and this much goes inside and then you start stitching it from here just little little stitch just basic stitch nothing fancy put it like this and put it like this and start stitching let me show you a little bit then you can do the rest right here make sure your needle you put it from inside because you want your knot to be inside not outside and then you take little bit of this fabric as well and if you have any tangles in the knot Make sure you get it out before you do it because we don't want any bigger knot you can just put a tiny little knot like this okay and then so it is folded here and later we can cut up the excess if it's hanging on like this like this make sure you blend it in with the design and give very tiny stitches not huge like this blend it in with the design so i did this one now i'm going to show you little bit of this side and then you can do the other side so just go on and give little little stitches when we come to this side you not necessarily need to stitch the cardboard just stitch the fabric like this just stay stitching the fabric not the cardboard so pick up like this 
and come out pick up and come out like this so we have a different variation of fabric so like this you continue and you will do the entire this side and when you come up to the top make sure you stitch few times over here and then after you do that then you go stitching the, all this and come back down and stitch this and that's all all you need to do hot glue two of these snap buttons and you have yourself a beautiful clutch which has this Canadian smoking design in it and and you're all ready to go to a party with your clutch thank you so much for joining me this is melody from home garden and fashion please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video and i will be seeing you with many more other videos i do have many requests to fill so i will continue making videos and fill those requests mm, many of my subscribers and non-subscribers subscribe